What's up, everyone? Welcome back! Alright, more of the adventures of still having not a fucking clue as to what's going on because I don't read or speak Japanese. So, yeah, let's continue on with that shit. で、どうだっただよな。ベースの天才も、ドラムの天才も、キーボードの天才も、極めつけの美少女ボーカリストも、実は空想上の生き物だったんだよ。どうしてお前はベースの経験者とドラムの経験者とキーボードの経験者とちょっと可愛いボーカ
I could really go for a cheeseburger right now. It's probably the most American thing I've ever said. Alright, anyway, <laughs> let's continue on. We said a word that sounded like stop. I'm not sure if that's what that was or not, but... Yeah. ただ適当に参加してるだけだし。今はそうだけどな。でも周りの人間に困ったことがあると I understand web. But other than that, no idea. <laughs> that whenever there's like letters in English that appear on the screen, I'm like, Ooh, look, English! I understand it, you guys! And that's literally like the best I can do with commentary with these fucking videos. <laughs> Oh my god, just fucking terrible. My commentary during these videos is just terrible, and I apologize. But there's, like, very few things I can actually comment on, you know? So I just, I feel like I do such a terrible job, but, like, again, it's difficult, because I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, during some of these visual novels that, like, actually have, like, English, you know, text and shit like that, I, I feel like I do a much better job with. But, yeah, it's difficult. But again, at least I don't have to think too hard about it, you know? <laughs> when I play games like this, I just, you know, keep my mouth shut and press the circle button, you know? Some some of my critics out there probably think I talk too much anyway, so, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing, who knows? Maybe it's a good thing that I don't talk much during these videos, but yeah, either way. It is what it is. I don't know. Is that a kabasa in the background? Holy shit, I think that's a kabasa in that little box there. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. I don't mean to brag, but back when I was in, like, 7th grade band, and even throughout, like, high school, I was a fucking badass at playing the kibasa. Like, not not to brag or anything, because I was a, you know, like, percussionist, like, I was in band ever since, like, 5th grade all the way through high school, right? So I did all that shit in high school, I did drumline, obviously, you know, because I'm fucking badass. No, but all joking aside, like, drumline is one of the most intense things I've ever fucking done in my entire life. Like, that shit was intense. You want to talk about some hard days and long nights? Like, holy shit, marching band is intense as fuck. A lot of crazy shit happens at band camp, trust me. But yeah, if, if all y'all out there, if any of you are in, like, band, you, you all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I learned how to play, like, all kinds of different instruments, you know, in band. And the kibasa was one of them. Because it's different than you would think. But yeah. Great instrument. Highly underrated. I love the kibasa. But I can't quite tell if that actually is a kibasa or not. I know those other two are maracas, but... I don't know if that other one's a kibasa. But either way, long story short, I'm a fucking badass at playing the kibasa. Like, anyone needed a kibasa player, I'm their guy. Because I was so fucking good at it. I was known for playing the kibasa and the cowbell. Don't mean to brag, I was pretty fucking good at the cowbell. In high school, I was so good, I even broke the cowbell. That's how fucking good I was. Not to mention a countless number of drumsticks that I broke while playing the cowbell. Fucking great. I fucking miss high school sometimes. Easily the best school years of my life. Not the best home life years of my life. Probably some of the worst home life years of my life, but... Definitely the best school years of my life, for sure. We're in high school. And 
Then I went to college, failed half my classes, and now I basically spend my entire life being a lazy bum. <laughs> it's great. No, but I, I mean, I do actually have a job, so it's not like I'm a completely lazy bum. But I mean, I, I've pretty much essentially dropped out of college. I mean, I don't really have any plans to go back anytime soon. So, I mean, I've essentially dropped out of college, and if I'm able to put into motion and complete the plans that I have, which, considering the current housing market is looking more and more slim by the day, which is depressing, um, but I hope something comes along and I'll be able to, uh, buy a house someday and make something of myself. If nothing else, I want to at least save up a bunch, bunch of money, move out, and at least maybe rent a house or something. I don't know. I just... Before I move out of my dad's house, though, I want to have a bunch of capital built up. By capital, I mean money, obviously. So, yeah. It's a long and tough process, and I knew it would be when I went into it, but... Whew, it's rough sometimes. But that's pretty much my only chance at this point, because college was a huge bust for me, so... My only chance of making something, you know, salvaging something out of my completely shattered life is to hope like hell I can save up enough money in the next few years to maybe buy a house if I get lucky. And I'm talking like a cheap-ass house, you know. But I figure uh, even if I buy a cheap-ass house, maybe if I do some of the work myself, you know, if I learn how to do some of that shit, just look it up online or whatever, you know, I can fix up a shitty house, you know, so long as it's not like, you know, insect-infested and termite-infested. But, I mean, I wouldn't mind buying a house that, you know, is beat up and needs a little work. I wouldn't really care. You know, I, I, I could do the work myself. It'd give me something to do, you know. So, might even be a good thing for me. But, that's still probably years away. So, you know, cross that bridge when we get there. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and call it quits for today. I feel like I've gotten enough of this shit done for you guys today. Um, so, uh... Yeah. And again, guys, just a fair warning. If you keep disliking these, uh, I know it only happened once so far, but if you guys keep disliking these Japanese, you know, when these videos that I do when I play these Japanese only games, if you guys keep disliking these videos, <laughs> again, it's only going to get, you know, it's only going to make things worse for you because the only thing you're going to get is more of these Japanese only games. So you have been warned. If you leave dislikes on my videos, if you guys continue to leave dislikes on my videos, again, I'm a spiteful asshole, and I will do more of the content that gets, gets disliked. I will do more of it purely out of spite. So, you have been warned. And that's how it is. Alright. Well, either way, guys, I did enjoy playing this for you guys today. Interesting stuff, so. Yeah. All right, well, either way, guys, that is going to be it for me for today. So, as always, everyone, stay cool and rock on. This is Multi-Step signing off.